All right, guys, we are back with episode two of this GM mode. If you guys missed last episode, there will be a link in the description for the very first episode of this today. I think we're going to get through more than two months. Um, you know, a lot of last video was going through what we had, setting up all the lines and all that good stuff. So I think today we can maybe get done the first season. So um, looking at the changes I made last episode, if you guys missed it, I uh, threw up Evgeny Malkin because he gave a plus three to this line with Eric Stahl and Jake Gensel. So that's pretty big for these guys. We got a 90, we got a 94, and we got a 87 here. So, And then plus ones on the second and third. The fourth line could be better, but it is what it is for now. Defense, they all have plus one overall, which is great. And we're still trying to decide who's our starting goaltender. Um, Tristan Jari's played 13 games. He has eight wins. Um, he has a 905 save percentage, a 314 goals against with one shutout. And then looking at Casey to Smith, 13 games played, five wins, 917 save percentage, a 242 goals against average. So we ended off last month with Casey to Smith ending it off. We're gonna give Tristan Jari um, maybe the first couple weeks, if not the month, to see how he does here. So uh, we'll go ahead and start simming um, the first two weeks. We'll see how he does. A 4-1 L, not great. And then we get a 6-5 shootout win. The Flyers want Brian Russ from us, our division rivals. No, we will pass on that. Um, a nice little win streak here. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five game win streak. So, 18, 10, and two. We'll continue to roll with Tristan Jari for another, uh, for the rest of the month. We'll play him for the whole month. Why not? See how he does here. Two one win, one nothing win, a six four L. Ooh, a little losing streak there. Not the biggest fan of that, but we end up the month pretty well. We got one more game actually. And that's a 5 nothing win there. So we're 24-13-2 after three months, I believe. We are second in the Metro. Uh, one or two points behind the Capitals. They have a game in hand, though. Uh, the Islanders are three points behind us with a game in hand. So a uh, pretty close race in the Metro, but we're sitting second. Jake Gensel leading the team with 44 points in 39 games. Uh, I just want to check in uh, the Plus three still there. Plus ones are still there. Beautiful. I want to see if we can get a plus one here somehow. I, I doubt it. Um, I did want to see. So they gave Casey to Smith. He has two shutouts. So I guess he played last game. Uh, he had five wins at the start of the month. He now has 12. He has a 9-10 save percentage. A 2.51 goals against average with two shutouts. Tristan Jari, 21 games played. 12 wins. Five uh, or an 8.99 save percentage. 3.25 goals against average. I'm not sure why they changed it for me when I have assistant coach lines off but we'll roll with it for now we're gonna sim another month here so i think we can get this season done here uh maybe actually we'll we'll sim up to the trade deadline and then we'll call it a video for this month or for this video so let's go with the this month here uh we are in a pretty bad losing streak we get a win there um a lot of people want brian rust uh we're not looking for draft picks we're looking to win uh we are buyers right now if we want to look at it that way um, Brandon Tanev, Russ, no, not a trade we're interested in. Sevier, we're not interested in a trade. We're not interested, guys. And we end up the month okay, I guess. Uh, we're 28, 19, and 3. I, I don't think we had the greatest month there. Uh, again, so we're 49 points in 50 games. We're now in fourth, so we did drop off big time there. Um, the Islanders even have a bunch of games in hand on us. They're just one, actually, but... 59 points, not bad. We got the Hurricanes right behind us. Uh, they're behind by three. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened that month. And again, it's just looking at the goaltending. Like, who's been playing? I, I don't really know. That's why I like simming it two weeks at a time. Let's give Casey the Smith the start because he's just been playing great. I kind of want to solidify him as a starter. He's been doing pretty good. But we'll go two weeks at a time here. Um, and the trade deadline is coming upon us here. So maybe maybe we're gonna have to sim past the trade deadline as well in this video so we'll see what happens here not the greatest start to the month here with a bunch of l's um 29 24 and 4 not good not good at all we are sitting outside a playoff spot by a ton of points too we're gonna try putting captain down to the third line here see if uh, that'll help anything i'm not too sure if it will to be honest but we'll see goaltending here again they're switching my goalies up on me when I, I haven't been asking them to it's kind of annoying um but it is what it is i guess we'll just sim up to the trade deadline at this point there's really nothing much i can do come the trade deadline um we'll sim a day before right up to the philly game i want to see where we're sitting if we are buyers or sellers at this point because we are just losing games 29 26 and 6 after that we are 10 points um, out of a playoff spot, the Islanders have a, a game in hand on us as well. So 
it's not looking good here. Maybe we, we need to shake something up here. We need to get a fourth line. We're going to be buyers. I think we could still push for a playoff spot. I know we are um, 10 points out, but like you string together a winning streak and you're right back in it, right? So we'll trade to the, to the trade deadline. We are going to be buyers. We win there, so we are buyers this trade deadline for sure. Let's enter the trade deadline and see what happens here. All right, so we are looking at um, who's available. So we got Brett Burns, we got Taylor Hall, we got Jonathan Toes, we got uh, by Fuglian, uh, Flurry, Ellis, Yandel, Spurgeon, Duchesne. Interesting, but he's got six years left at eight mil, so we don't want to touch that. Matthias Ekholm, uh, Hudobin, Jalmerson, Tatar. Uh, one year at 4.8, that's not a bad player to look into for the fourth line. I know he says he's top six. Uh, we have a trade alert here. The Chicago Blackhawks trade Jonathan Taze to Montreal for just some picks and Jay Brook. So, wow, Jonathan Taze is now a Montreal Canadien. Granlin, Tatar, two players I'm really looking at here that would be very interesting for this team. Another trade alert coming from Edmonton this time. They trade ooh, Evan Bouchard uh, and Ryan McLeod to the Predators in, in exchange for Ryan Ellis and Eric Halla. Okay. So I'm trying to debate here. Get Thomas Tatar or go for a, a Mikael Granlin. Kind of want to try for Mikael Granlin here. He's got one year. Um, he's a second line forward. Um, so we can throw him on the wing better up that second line. So let's try it Gators matching the block. So who do they want here? Um, again, we don't want to get rid of our young guys here. We do need them. We don't want to get rid of Marino Tanev I'd be okay with getting rid of um, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to trade here. Uh, why would we want this? I'm in the middle of trying to create a trade that was horrible and it just kicks me out of that eh? Granlin's asking price isn't good for uh, is isn't bad for a second line um, I think we're going to have to throw some draft picks in here for sure. Um, our second, maybe that'll just do it right away. I'm fine with getting rid of our draft picks this year. we got a trade alert here before I continue saying what I'm saying. Is it anything big? Jake McCabe and Brian Dumoulin and Thomas Ryder are going to, or Reader, are going to Boston. Okay. So now I'm thinking, like, we're buyers this year. We have a chance. We can try and sign Mikkel Granlin. I think if this goes through, I wouldn't be disappointed with it. And it went through. So, Miko Granlin is coming over to the Pittsburgh Penguins at this trade deadline. I think that is a huge acquisition for us. And I don't think we need to make any more moves. Um, Dustin Bufflin for Joseph. No. Why would I? No. No. Montreal making a bunch of trades today. They trade Koken Yemi, Froelich, and Hudon to the Jets for Cole Perfetti and a third round pick in 2022. That's a trade. I, wow, Montreal took the L there, I wanna say. All right, so the trade deadline is done. We were only able to make one move. I think that one move is gonna be okay for us. I don't see us really needing something else um, to kind of help us. So let's go fix up the lines. Hopefully Granlund can help us push towards the playoffs as we are um, nine points out now. So you know what? That wasn't a bad trade. I know he shouldn't really be playing fourth line minutes, but we now have a plus one on this fourth line with Jankowski and Sevier. Now he is a second line forward. Um, he's elite exact. Uh, he really should be playing on the second line, but there's really nowhere else he would fit where we can get a plus one on this last line. So all in all, I think the depth got way better. Again, Granlin up here, not the biggest fan of it, but it's what we're going to have to roll with for now. Hopefully he helps out. All right, we continue simming and we try to push for a playoff spot here. Simple as I will simulate to the first. There's only one more game and it's a 5-2 win to start it off. Not too bad. So uh, just before we complete the sim, I think we're going to go all the way until the playoffs. We are sitting... We were sitting seven points out of a out of a playoff spot, I believe, right now, or we're at least seven behind the Hurricane. So we need a huge month from this team. Um, we just got to string together some wins. So we'll go two weeks at a time here and hope we string together some wins as we're stringing together some L's. Uh, we got some points in those L's, but still, we don't want to be stringing together L's. We'll go for the rest of the month here. We're 34, 28, and eight. We need big wins from this team. And we're getting some right now, and now we're taking some L's as I spoke way too soon, I guess, eh? So, we got three games left. We're 40, 30, and 9. We are, ooh, okay. We are one point behind the Devils. We are three points behind the Islanders and five points behind the Hurricanes. So, we need a huge push. Um, we're playing Detroit twice here. We're hoping we can win these games. 
So we'll go a game at a time to see if we can push the playoffs here. Game one against them, a 4 nothing win. Big stuff. We are now in, f well, we're still in fifth place. We are now three points behind. We are now three points behind the Islanders. Interesting stuff. Uh, we got to keep it going here. We got to win out, essentially, if we want the best chance of making the playoffs here. So another game against Detroit. 5-2 win. Things you love to absolutely see. Um, the thing you hate to see is the Islanders also won their last game. So we're now two points behind the Islanders. Um, and the Devils are one point behind us. So this game against the Rangers is huge. We need to, need to probably win it. So please get this win here, boys. We get a point out of it, which isn't too bad. And we do just squeak into the playoffs. Oh my goodness. The Devils were two points behind us. Um, they, I think, also lost in a shootout there. So, interesting stuff. And uh, we finished one point behind the Islanders there. So, man, we just made the playoffs. So, now looking at who led the team, Evgeny Malkin led the team with 77 points in 82 games. We got uh, Gensel with 74 in 82. Crosby was 70 in um, 82. Man, Malkin was two off getting a 40-goal season there. Uh, these two were minus players for some reason. What I really wanted to look at here was who played the most, and it was Casey to Smith. He played twenty. He played fifty-two games, won twenty-six, eighteen, and five with four shutouts, a nine oh eight save percentage with a two point seven seven goals against. Uh, Tristan Jari played thirty-six, won sixteen, thirteen, and five, not the greatest with two shutouts, a nine oh nine save percentage and a two point eight seven goals against average. So um, Casey to Smith played way more than Tristan Jari, and they had similar numbers. So. Casey to Smith is our starter question mark. I know Tristan Jari has a potential to be a starter and Casey to Smith has a potential to be a backup exact. Um, I don't know. I think we got to figure out our goaltending situation come next season, but Hey, we're looking at the playoffs right now. The Washington Capitals are your president's trophy winners. The Flyers were not too far behind them. Hurricanes, not too far. Islanders, not too far. And there we are in fifth. This is the Metro. Um, so they are not the present trophies winner. The present trophy winner by one point are the Edmonton Oilers. No shocker there. Um, we got the Capitals one point behind them. Tampa's there. The Leafs up there. Bruins there. Flyers are up there. Teams you would expect to be up there with 100 points. Before we end this video, let's just simulate to see who our first round opponent is going to be. And oh my goodness, it is the Washington Capitals. This sets up next video perfectly. I am, oh man, this is going to be so exciting. The rivalry between Pittsburgh and Washington going down in the first round. So before I forget for next video, I'm going to turn injuries on um, just because I said I would do that come playoff time. So that's all set up for next video. But boys, next video, we take on the Washington Capitals in the first round of the playoffs. And we are going to see if Crosby can defeat Ovi once again.